What is up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are in the shop today and today I'm going to go over the entire fleet with you guys because the channel's been growing a lot and there's a lot of you who are new who don't know what all is in the fleet here. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So I'm going to open this garage door because the first bike of the fleet is outside right now. So, the first bike of the fleet is my 2016 Indian Roadmaster. This is the OG of the channel. This is the bike that I started the channel with. I have literally rode this bike all over the country. I absolutely love it. There are some things I hate, and if you click on the card above, there's a list of seven things I hate about this bike. But overall, I absolutely love this bike. As promised, she got a wash. So, she has set parked for about five months. I just took her out. Got her all washed up, and we're going to roll into that right now. So, as you see, she got all washed up. She's looking good, she's beautiful. She's got a fresh tank of gas on her. First time I've put gas in it since probably November. And uh, one of the most expensive tanks of gas I've ever put in this bike. Four gallons costing $23, so. You guys know who to thank for that. I don't have any stickers to put on the pump. But this is my beautiful Roadmaster. I love this bike. I love Indian motorcycles. I am debating on trading this bike in though. I kind of want a Challenger. I really do. So, who knows, if I can find a base model Challenger at the right price, this thing will be going away. But there's a shortage right now, so it's hard to find those. So, on to the second bike of the channel. Second bike of the channel is my Chopper. So, originally, this was Project Herd Bomb. I built this Sportster to ride cross country. And, as you know, if you've been around, engine blew up about four hours into it and there is a link in the card above to this bike so project herd bomb blew up and it set for about eight months after that till my wife pushed me to build this chopper i've always wanted to build this bike was the most in-depth project i've ever done pretty much the only stuff that is stock on it is the crankshaft the cases and the neck the rest of it has all been built. It's got the TC Bro Springer front end, TC Bro's hardtail. Um, the engine is a hodgepodge engine. And I recently just put mids on it. I took the forwards off. I still have the pegs up there, but I took the forwards off and put mids. I'm really actually liking this with mids. We're on our third iteration of the seat. So originally, this had a airbag mounted seat. And then I put a different seat on those airbags, and now I am on this Cobra seat. Got my Airhawk pad on there. Really liking this. I'm planning on doing some distant rides on this. Next weekend, we might be going camping, and if we do, 
I'm taking this bike. So, this bike is the second bike that the channel ever had, but it is the most recent project. I guess not. The Shadow has replaced that as the most recent project. But, you guys have seen the chopper. You know all about it. So, let's go on to the third bike of the channel. So, the third bike of the channel we call Turd Bomb, but it is not the original Turd Bomb. This is Turd Bomb 2.0. So this was a wrecked Sportster that I got from a guy I used to work with. We transferred all the tins from Project Turd Bomb over to here, the mini floorboards, all of that. We put a different fairing on it. Pretty much everything except for the frame and the engine are from the original Project Turd Bomb. I am still planning on riding a Sportster cross country because I'm an idiot. It's what I want to do. So, this bike's a little dirty right now. It needs to be cleaned up. But... I don't know if it's going to happen this summer. If not, it'll probably happen next summer. But I'm going to set out, hopefully, and get some trips in on this. This is a uh, 1200cc Sportster, just like the original Turd Bomb was, except this one is a much better build. So the reason that original engine failed was I bought it as a project from somebody. He did a real shoddy build on it. It was a super high compression engine, and it just was not properly built and it blew everywhere and destroyed the whole engine. This is a factory 1200, and everything there should be pretty good to go for a cross-country ride. So, if that's something you guys are interested in, that's something I'm interested in sharing with you guys. But, that is Turd Bomb 2.0. Now, over here to the most recent project of the channel, which has been this 2001 Shadow, which does not even have a name. So we recently got this done. I've got to get some title work done. I bought this shadow and that shadow as a two for one because we had some title issues. I've found the original uh, title holder of this bike and they said uh, that they'll help me get everything sorted out. So I'm gonna have to go down. They're about 45 minutes from me. I'm gonna have to go down. We're gonna get some title stuff figured out and get this thing 100% legal. But when we got this bike, it hadn't ran in over 10 years, and it's got new tires on it now, a new chain. Uh, it took us five minutes, five minutes to get this bike running, and uh, that was because it had a bad pet cock. So we put a new pet cock on here. We rebuilt the carb, but for what, two tires, pet cock, a chain, and that, less than $300. This bike is back on the road. We've been ripping around on that, and uh, so Jake may be riding around on this this summer and then come fall we'll probably list it for sale we're, we've just got to wait to get the title sorted out so once we get that back we're going to list this for sale and that will lead us into the next project for the channel that guy who just sped by was super cool you could tell because he had loud exhaust this right here is a 2002 I think shadow uh, we've cranked it over, so we know the engine's not locked up. Uh, we haven't done anything else to this thing, but we know that uh, we're, we're pretty confident that we can get this thing running with just a little bit of elbow grease. It needs a gas tank, and I think we're going to build a little bobber out of this. It'll be a cool little project. But that's not going to happen till late fall, early winter. So, so riding season is finally here. We don't want to tie up all of our time during riding season building bikes. It's more of a winter project. So... This thing, we'll probably put some taller handlebars on it. Um, we're not going to hardtail this one. So this will, will be a bobber, not a chopper. And uh, it'll get a new tank and some paint and who all knows what else. We've got time to figure that out. And we're going to let you guys help make some decisions on that. So this is going to be, I think, an interesting little build. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and bang the subscribe button so you can keep up with this project as well as all these other projects because there's a lot of interesting stuff coming down the road. So those are the five current bikes we have here on the channel. I am looking for another sports steer. I want to do another chopper. Uh, if I can't find another one, Turd Bomb may get sacrificed, but I want to ride that bike cross country before I cut it up. So I'm always browsing. I like to find bikes that... They've been abused. They might have title issues, stuff like that. So I can get a good deal on them. 
because some people would call this a motorcycle collection, but I like to think of it more as I am running a motorcycle rescue, and each and every one of these is one of my beloved rescues. So if you know of any unwanted and unloved Harley Davidson Sportsters, let me know. I would love to give it a good home. So that's the five bikes of the fleet. Hopefully there's more to come, but that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. I love you all. Please do me a favor. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. What kind of bike are you riding? How many bikes do you have? And also, while you're down there, head to the description box. There's all the links to our social media, as well as our company website, hotheadstalls.com, where we sell everything for horses. We also have dog leashes, dog collars, and apparel. All that helps finance this channel. So if you want to help the channel grow, that's where it is. There's also links to my personal PayPal if you want to donate directly to a project. And there's also channel membership. Channel membership's $2.99 a month. There's really no perk to it other than you get to know that you're helping finance projects in this shop. So that's why it's only $2.99 a month. If I had something special to offer you guys, I would charge maybe $5 a month. So until then, it's only $2.99 a month. It directly helps support everything. But I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.